Hey, today we're checking out Coffee Talk. Uh, this is a story-based simulation game from Toge Productions. Uh, I think it's along the lines of uh, Valhalla and the Red Strings Club. Uh, if you need something uh, pretty chill to play, maybe something to ease your nerves, this is probably the game for you. Anyway, let's begin. What's your name? The default is Barista. Uh, let's change that. Our name is Sarian. Alright. Seattle, 2020. 20 years after the end of the world and prophecy was proven wrong. Wait, what? A time when the big war between the races is only a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be, and have those dreams crushed without even getting the chance to be discussed. But still, it is a place, of, a place and time where anything can happen. It's when the elves have left the forest to build uh, their startups. Oh, I love this urban fantasy setting. That's an aesthetic. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves and started their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and used computers to forward their lives. And when humans live among them, just like we've always known. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and closed doors. They are spoken over drinks before taking up residence in some stranger's memories. In one corner of the city stands a cafe, a place that is only open when the sun is sleeping, a place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. Thursday, October 1st, 2020. Alright. Well, let's welcome our first... Oh, welcome... Oh, it's you. Hi, Pops. How's the night so far? Freya. It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Huh? What happened? The store where I usually get my ingredients made some logistical errors, so I didn't get most of the ingredients I usually use to make my drinks. Man, that's a bummer. It is, but don't worry. I still have the ingredients I need to make that coffee you need. <laughs> that's nice to hear. It wouldn't be pretty silly to open your coffee shop if you couldn't even serve a simple espresso. Can't argue with that. Anyway, let me set up, uh, set things up first. You're the first customer on a really bad day for the cafe. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor, so I'm used to taking things slow. Real slow. <laughs> Writer's block again. You got that right. Are you working on another big scoop, or is this about your plan to write that big work of fiction? It's the latter. Ah, the machine is ready. Uh, pardon the interruption, but do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. I really need that triple shot espresso. Alright, so I guess we're gonna make one. Uh, base. Huh. Well, let's start with coffee. Uh, we just get a choice? Alright. Um, we got ginger... What is this, mint? Yeah, lemon, money, and cinnamon. Uh, hmm. I suppose we can... Add some mint. And another ingredient. Huh. Maybe some... Cinnamon. Might help her... 
get some thoughts together. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. One cup of joe for my only customer tonight. Mmm, it smells good. This is a good coffee. Not exactly what I wanted, but still good. Anyway, where were we? Oh, wait a minute. Uh, how would we make a triple shot espresso? Uh, whatever. <laughs> You're about to tell me about your big, uh, your plan regarding writing fiction on a big scale. Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing short stories for the newspaper, you know. But it seems like it's the right time for me to challenge myself a bit more. That's good for you. <laughs> Sounds good in theory. But when you start to really do it, that's when reality hits hard. Well, I mean, that's to be expected. At least you still have your job to support you while you're writing the novel in your free time. <laughs> uh, did I say something wrong? Is everything okay? <laughs> no, you're right. You said what I should have done instead of taking the path I'm on now. And that path is... You know how the newspaper I worked for is owned by the biggest book publisher in the country, right? Yes. Well, I asked my chief for the opportunity to focus on writing the novel. But what do you mean by opportunity? You left? Oh... Basically, I asked him to give me paid leave so I can write the novel for our publisher. Uh... Hmm... Awkward. Oh, come on, don't give me that look. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know, it was such a stupid thing to ask. And how did your boss react? He challenged me. He said if I can get the initial draft ready in a month, then my weekly target for news will be heavily reduced so I can focus on the novel. And he will push the fiction publishing division head to approve my novel for publishing. Although I'll still need to submit daily short stories, too. That's not bad, considering you'll get the opportunity to be published by the biggest publisher here. What if you fail? He won't forbid me from working on the novel. But I'll still have to work the crazy workload of a journalist. And I'll lose the chance to be published by them. Ouch. Well, at least you got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Jeez. Again, don't give me that look. So you got three weeks to finish it? How far along are you? Uh. <laughs> uh, I assume the number of words you've written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know, like your name. May I see it? Um, <laughs> well... It was so bad that, well, to the point that I just deleted everything immediately after reading it. Hmm. So, zero? <sighs> yes, I really need to finish it in at most two weeks. Then, I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you pull it off well. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of the short stories I'm the most proud of here, you know. Really? Well, this place could be a service. Oh, it, it looks like someone's coming. Hello, newcomers, friends. Welcome. Hi there. Hello. Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. But what do you recommend? Uh, that depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet a friend, and I'm not planning to be awake all night. So, definitely no coffee. Uh, how about chocolate? They'll be perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. A cup of hot chocolate, please. Alright, we'll make you some cocoa. Uh, milk? 
And, hmm. I guess something to relax her since she doesn't want to be up all night. Uh, mm, maybe some cinnamon. I mean, that goes well with hot chocolate, doesn't it? Pretty standard. Alright, let's serve it. Your drink is ready, miss. Hmm. You know, in my native language, we call the color brown chocolate. Because the color looks like, well, chocolate. And this drink doesn't look brown at all. Oh my, I'm so sorry. I must have made a mistake. It's okay. At least it's not coffee. Wait, what? They just put a little milk in there. There's supposed to be milk and hot chocolate, right? And it's warm. Uh, so, are you waiting for a friend? Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now. You've gone from not having anyone to three customers in one night. <laughs> I thought this place would be more crowded, considering it's the only cafe open after midnight around here. <laughs> because it's the only cafe that's open after midnight, it's mostly empty. Now that you mentioned it, is it good for business, having the cafe only open at night? That's pretty weird. <laughs> Definitely not. Yep, as she said. Then why? I just love doing it. <laughs> and there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running the cafe in this situation? Yeah, why don't you just run in the afternoon, too. That's a secret. Sarian here is damn rich. That's a secret. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. Besides, I live in the cafe, so I'm saving a lot by not having to worry about accommodation costs. <laughs> Don't worry so much about him. He can manage. And I'm sure the cafe won't close down anytime soon, so you'll still have a weird, calm place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, it seems like you're a regular here. I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer that works well at night and in a cafe. There's not so many options for that combination, right? Ah, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the Evening Whisper. <laughs> That's a nice name. Shut up. Oh, really? Wow. That's interesting. What kind of things do you cover? Anything, but mostly I cover interesting stories from people all around the town. She also writes for the daily short stories in the paper. You really can't shut up tonight, can you? I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? <laughs> Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then, are you here to write a new piece? I should be, but I don't even know what to write about right now. Oh, someone's coming. The friend? Welcome. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi, uh, would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of an order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? How are you feeling? Uh, something bitter that could keep me awake, but add some milk to it. Alright, well, we'll just make you a standard coffee with milk. Uh, hmm. Can we just add more coffee? Oh! Really? I didn't know that. Alright, that changes things a bit. So I guess I've been doing pretty poorly for these last two customers. That's okay. How is it? Hmm. Not bad. Anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus there's the rain. 
I know, Baileys. It's okay. As I told you, I was having a nice chat with them. Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Baileys. Interesting name. Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Hi, I'm Freya. I'm Sarian. <laughs> well, you already knew that. Hey, did you know Miss Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whisper? Oh, really? I did some work for them a few times before. Uh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. Oh. I did some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you're in contact with Steve? Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? Hmm. No, he isn't. <laughs> but I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> Come on. He's tough to deal with, but he's definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. There's always another hell beneath even the deepest hell. How does that even work? Shut up, I'm sure you've dealt with bad customers before. The only bad customers this late at night are lost drunkards or criminals. That sounds really bad. Eh, nah, they're easy to handle. He is good with his fists. Not as good as he is with coffee, though. Hey! <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is that I'll write. <sighs> so, I'll leave you two in the hands of this man. Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at that table in the corner there. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> uh, I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. Alright, we've got these two to chat with. We got a nice little artsy elf and an orc, maybe? An orc lady? Uh, should we move to other seats too? Nah, here is good. Okay then. So, how's your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal on time, so my boss didn't keep me at the office late. Plus, I think he was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today was pretty special. I'm not sure what's happening, but it was great seeing him so happy. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one's a pain in the ass. You know how they always depict really bad clients on memes? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. Why not just make a meme about her then? <laughs> and lose my current project for a minute of laughter? Actually, that might be worth it though. <laughs> you should ask Sarian here how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones that don't need your fist to take care of. I do have my own methods, and every single customer has to be dealt with differently. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now that's one good lesson to learn for the day. God knows I may be describing your parents without realizing it. <laughs> mm. Uh, did I say something wrong? Oh, no, it's okay. It won't be okay for us, though. Do they have a bad relationship with their parents? <sighs> so, you talked to them? I did. It didn't end well. No. What did they say? A lot. Hmm. Oh. I'm guessing they don't approve of the relationship? They won't give us a chance at all? No. How about you? It's the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's house starting tonight. They kicked you out? You don't have to cause yourself this kind of problem, you know. They're your family. I can't stand even one more second living under the same roof with them. 
I mean, I might not have stable income, but I can manage with all the freelance jobs. Still, you don't know what they said to you, said about you last night. Oh, I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume? Uh, forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. Nothing about how elves are holy creatures, about our immortality, about how even if I outlive you... What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no other elves would want to be with an elf that's already been tainted by a lowly succubus? Oh. She's a succubus. That's exactly what they said. Hmm. So, this is it then. The end of our relationship. Oh, It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. And I'll never be able to leave them. Damn. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been. Without them knowing. And then what? We are not... We're not like humans, you know. You can't really hide that forever. I know some human couples get their family's consent because they get too old. And the family just gives up. But we're not human. We won't die of natural causes. Lua, I don't care about their permission. But I do. Do you want to be in this kind of relationship for the rest of eternity? If I get disfended with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. You're making this hard for the both of us. Do you love me? Oh, this got awkward real quick. I do. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. <sighs> I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait. Says she just left. Ugh. I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. It happens. That's alright. This cafe has witnessed many kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. <laughs> I hope so too. Do you have alcohol? Sadly, no. It's a cafe. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that can warm and calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes? I'll take one. I love green tea latte. Uh, yes, let's get some matcha in. And some milk. And some honey, that's... That's how I make mine. Delicious, he'll love it. Here's your order. I think I'm supposed to be saying that. That's okay, though. This is the weirdest green tea latte I've ever seen. What? Won't be enough to make my day any worse, though. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me make another one for you. No need, I'm fine with this. By the way, are you married? Me? No. Do you have someone you love? I love my family, and I love this cafe. But I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. Huh. I didn't really have any expectations for your answer. Man, out of all creatures in the world, why did I need to fall for her? Well, you can't choose who you love. You can, if you try hard enough. At least that's what my old man said. He really said that? Yeah, he was one weird elf. But I guess all of my kind are weird. 
We're pretentious, immortal douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. Anyway, I need to go now. And probably drink myself in under until the sun rises. Well, there's still a little while until sunrise. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Uh, thank you. Do visit again. Man, I feel bad for him. That sucks. Yeah. Hey, Freya. I bet you witnessed that whole thing. You were listening from the corner? Yes. Poor souls. I hope they find their way together soon. I mean, I don't know why they're so why their parents are so pressed about it. They're immortal, right? Or they're practically immortal. Hmm. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think we're gonna go uh, close the shop up after this. That's pretty early. I know. Tomorrow, once my all my ingredients arrive, I'll open as usual. Okay then, have a nice rest, old man. You too. <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, if they're practically immortal, I mean, there's a chance to try out anything in, in, in their lifespans. I don't know. You'd think they'd be wise enough, since they're living so long, to get over differences like that. Alright, so it's the second day. October 2nd, Friday. Uh, the Evening Whispers. Indonesia appointed the first female work president in the world. Uh, Seattle Groceries distribution problem harm local restaurants. And cats are the best creature on earth, researchers said. Finally, some real news. A werewolf activist in prison for owning illegal drugs and rap group Street, Street Orchestra questioned for their pro-terrorism songs. <laughs> now, there's a lot going on in the world. Oh, hello again, Freya. Good evening, Pops. Did you write those stories in the paper? Good goodness gracious. What's wrong with you? Can't you just enter like a normal customer? I'm sorry, but I'm so excited to share something with you. What are you talking about? I know what to write for my novel. Is it one of your impulsive temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be rude. I'm being serious here. Okay, okay, just tell me what are you going to write about? <laughs> this cafe. Um, that's not a bad idea, actually. Plenty of things happen in here, I bet. What? I'm gonna write stories about this cafe and the people who come here. Uh, are you for real? Yes. What if I say you can't do that? Well, you can't stop her. She's a paying customer. I'm not asking permission. That's like a breach of the customer's personal lives, you know. Oh, that, that's, that's true. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Relax, I know that. I just need inspiration from this place. I mean, you can always change their names and descriptions. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see here. How loosely based? Blade Runner novel versus movie level loosely based. The old one? Of course I'm talking about the old one. Hmm. That means really different, you know. Or do you want me to take it like the fanatic's interpretation versus the actual holy text level loosely based? Shut up. I mean, it's not like you can say no to something you work on, right? No, you can't. Although you could simply forbid me from bringing my laptop or notebook here. I won't do that. Thank you. Anyway, uh, it seems like someone's coming. I wonder what kind of stories they have. Huh. 
Uh, I wonder what sort of stories will fill the room tonight. I hope we make good drinks. That's what I'm worried about. Oh, to be continued. Okay, so the demo ends here. Man. That was getting pretty good. Oh, I suppose we'll have to wait for the actual release. But yeah, I really enjoyed that. You can definitely see uh, the inspiration it draws from Valhalla and the Red Strings Club. Uh, it's a really cool and unique setting too. I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of the idea of urban fantasy, and if I ever do a D&D campaign, it'll probably, it'll probably be based on that. If you're watching this, uh, there's a big chance you're a fan of visual novels. I love visual novels. I love games where you can just sit down and just experience the story. And I know that may not be everyone's cup of tea, or cup of joe, but uh, I just find visual novels charming, and, and lots of them, especially this one, are hella relaxing. Sometimes that's just what you need from a game. It's a preference. Yeah, on this channel I know uh, there's been huge long breaks between uploads, and that's because I'm still figuring things out um, in terms of working and fall semester coming up. But yeah, as in now, I have a lot more time to record videos like this, and, and if you stuck around till now, thanks. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, I'll see you next time. Bye.